and Robbie Parr with the advantage. They've gone on now from Karn Duff and Robbie Colgan. Sandoku and Danny Mullins still running on, but over the last and clear is Twilight Shadow. Rounding the final turn now, and it's Twilight Shadow clear from Karn Duff, who's now pressed for the second by Sandoku, who's beginning to close well indeed now up the hill. And it's Twilight Shadow with on the near side Sandoku closing with every stride. And as they run towards the finish, Sandoku on the near side times it to perfection. Love the hill there, and it's Sandoku and Danny Mullins, and it's Twilight Shadow clear from Karn Duff, who's now pressed for the second by Sandoku, who's beginning to close well indeed now up the hill, and it's Twilight Shadow with on the near side Sandoku closing with every stride, and as they run towards the finish, Sandoku on the near side times it to perfection. Love the hill there, and it's Sandoku and Danny Mullins who wins this winner of his train by his man bags with in second Twilight Shadow and Karn Duff, the early leader, dropped back to third with Tom Mann a long way behind in fourth. Mystic Princess in between horses. Annie All and Bell of the Ball the outside. One can Kelly is trying to run on with more than ever and then Personal Shopper racing round the home turn now and it's Mystic Princess chased up the hill by Bell of the Ball. On the inside is Annie All and, and then comes more than ever. It's Mystic Princess from Bell of the Ball. There's a couple of lengths between them and it's going to stay that way. Mystic Princess, Derek Fox beat Bell of the Ball. Annie All and one can Kelly and then more than ever and on the inside personal shopper. Mystic Princess in between horses. Annie All and Bell of the Ball the outside. One can Kelly is trying to run on with more than ever and then Personal Shopper racing round the home turn now and it's Mystic Princess chased up the hill by Bell of the Ball. On the inside is Annie Allen and then comes more than ever. It's Mystic Princess from Bell of the Ball. There's a couple of lengths between them and it's going to stay that way. Mystic Princess Derek Fox beat Bell of the Ball. Annie All and one can Kelly and then more than ever and on the inside personal shopper. And uh, it's in the centre, Theo, with on the outside, beginning now to come home well up the hill as they climb to the final 150 yards. It's Tell Them Nothing and Dylan Robinson now have come storming home in the centre of the track. And Tell Them Nothing is coming home clear. Five, six lengths, overtures will be second. And in third place, Theo, ahead of just like old times, Star of Angels, Whispering Hope, and then Boris Baru. And uh, it's in the centre, Theo, with on the outside, beginning now to come home well up the hill as they climb to the final 150 yards. It's tell Them Nothing and Dylan Robinson now have come storming home in the centre of the track. And Tell Them Nothing is coming home clear. Five, six lengths, overtures will be second. And in third place, Theo, ahead of just like old times, Star of Angels, Whispering Hope, and then Boris Baru. And it's Rise of an Empire, the leader from Faraway Mountain, who's now come under pressure and is three, four lengths behind Rise of an Empire now, racing round the home turn. And it's Rise of an Empire going further and further away from Faraway Mountain. Sarah Joyce and Cool Four Jack running up the hill towards the finish. And it's Rise of an Empire and Brian Cooper out clear of Faraway Mountain, who's pressed for the second by running on Sarah Joyce. But Rise of an Empire will get his first win of his career here in fine style. Seven or eight lengths, Sarah Joyce second, and Faraway Mountain third ahead of Cool Four Jack. And it's Rise of an Empire, the leader from Faraway Mountain, who's now come under pressure and is three, four lengths behind Rise of an Empire now, racing round the home turn. And it's Rise of an Empire going further and further away from Faraway Mountain. Sarah Joyce and Cool Four Jack running up the hill towards the finish. And it's Rise of an Empire and Brian Cooper out clear of Faraway Mountain, who's pressed for the second by running on Sarah Joyce. But Rise of an Empire will get his first win of his career here in fine style. Seven or eight lengths, Sarah Joyce second and Faraway Mountain third ahead of Cool Four Jack.
and it's Red Clue now getting the better of Town Pond and the Baylor and over the last it's Red Clue the leader racing round the home turn now with a furlong left to go it's Red Clue out in front Town Pond the Baylor and Camilla's Wish as they climb up towards the finish it's Red Clue and Robbie Power out five six lengths in front the battles for minor money as Red Clue will keep up the winning momentum and scores from Camilla's Wish Town Pond and the Baylor is cleared then of next across the line, Worship Master. And it's Red Clue now getting the better of Town Pond and the Baylor. And over the last, it's Red Clue, the leader, racing round the home turn now with a furlong left to go. It's Red Clue out in front. Town Pond, the Baylor, and Camilla's Wish as they climb up towards the finish. It's Red Clue and Robbie Power out five, six lengths in front. The battle's for minor money as Red Clue will keep up the winning momentum and scores from Camilla's Wish, Town Pond, and the Baylor is cleared then of next across the line, Worship Master. Who just edged to the front now from St. Killen and Johnny King, who made a very bad mistake, almost went, great recovery, but it's put him out of the race, shaken up now, is trying to mount a challenge to kill Shane, who made a mistake at the last, and it's now advantage, shaken up, racing round the home turn, and it's shaken up and Jamie Codd, who have got the better of kill Shane. Iman Iswiz is running on towards the near side, but the leader is shaken up, running up towards the finish, and shaken up, and Jamie Codd are clear from kill Shane. and Iman Iswiz going close home, it's shaken up, who wins comfortably, six to seven lengths, kill Shane second, and it's shaken up and Jamie Codd who have got the better of Kilna Shane. Iman Iswiz is running on towards the near side but the leader is shaken up. Running up towards the finish and shake it up. And Jamie Codd are clear from Kilna Shane and Iman Iswiz going close home. It's shake it up who wins comfortably. Six to seven lengths Kilna Shane second. And in third place Iman Iswiz a long way back to likeable rogue then Chief Admiral St Killina. As the early leader gives way, all duck or no dinner, and then River Dune and Leopard's Leap as Bertie Bell on the outside. Under Declan Lavery draw alongside the storyteller and Luke McGinnis. They're locked together now as they climb the hill. And on the left-hand side, the storyteller. On the right-hand side is Bertie Bell still locked together. Running up towards the finish now. Head to head as they hit the line. Bertie Bell on the near side might just have got his dues after three previous seconds. Has put it up to the judge with the story tell her they're clear from River Dune. Leopards leap and all docker no dinner. As the early leader gives way, all docker no dinner. And then River Dune and Leopards leap as Bertie Bell on the outside. Under Declan Lavery draw alongside the storyteller and Luke McGinnis. They're locked together now as they climb the hill. And on the left hand side, the storyteller. On the right hand side is Bertie Bell still locked together. Running up towards the finish now. Head to head as they hit the line. Bertie Bell on the near side might just have got his dues after three previous seconds. Has put it up to the judge with the storyteller. They're clear from River Dune. Leopards leap and all. Old Ducker, no dinner.